So I include several presets with Curve Basher just so you can start using it right away and make something cool very quickly. But they're kind of basic. And uh, the idea behind this video is that you don't even have to model your own. You can find a Kit Bash set, someone linked me this, and just get that and use them as presets for Curve Basher. So I'm gonna try using one of these. I haven't tested it though. Maybe, <laughs> ideally you wanna use something that's kind of straightened out. Otherwise, like if you use this one, like how is this end gonna link to that end if we array it? So, oh, this one's also kind of cool. I, I saw this one before. I wanna try this one. How about we try this one? It's not, yeah, it's less than ideal because of how much it bends, but how about we go with that one? Yeah, it just looks really cool. Let's try it with this one, YOLO. Let's delete all of this. And we can't drag and drop, right? Because it's Blender. That hasn't been invented yet. So let's paste this in here. There we go. Oh, this is a bad idea. Just on how long it took to import. All right. Dude, this looks pretty cool. I really like this big fat cable here. Give me a second. Yeah, I'm stealing this profile for sure. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's just select everything, Control J, and take a look at this. Yeah, we have a few empty groups. So this is the equivalent of empty objects in other software, or collections. So they like to use that a lot to group things, but in Blender, we don't really want these. So I'm gonna get rid of them. So I'm gonna select the mesh, just the mesh. It's all we need, we don't want any of that. Alt P, clear parent. Oh shit, never mind. Alt P, clear parent and keep transform. There we go. And delete all of this junk. We only need the mesh. Oh my God, how heavy is this? 200,000 vertices, oh Lord. Whatever, let's just give it a go. So I'm gonna press N, go to the curve basher end panel and you'll see a button right here, open preset file. So this is where all the default presets are located and this is where you can create your own and even paste things you find online, such as this. So ideally for a complex kit bash like this one, I would just paste it in the default kit bash types. Let me just show you which, which ones those are. So these are the default kit bash types. So the thing about these is that they're not special at all. They're not instanced or they're not merged in any way. It's just uh, bend it onto the curve, that's it. So like I said, ideally you want to put it in there, but I'm really curious what this specific kit bash would look like if I put it in the array type. So let's try that. So I'm just going to hide the chain. doesn't matter what's visible or not in this file. Curve bash will still work. So let's paste it and make it the correct size. So rotate 90 degrees. Is that 90 degrees? Oh, I guess it is. Okay, so I'm just gonna scale. You can see there's a little reference cube right here that you can use to sort of uh, resize it. That's good enough. So I'm just gonna center this again. And I don't know where the origin needs to be. Not entirely sure. I'm just gonna center it perfectly. Okay, good. Now, this is one very important step. You need to apply your transformations before you save the file. Otherwise, things will just explode when you try to use it as a preset. So control A, apply all transforms. Control S, we save the file. All we need now is to test it out. So let's go full screen with this one. Let's create a little cube and another, another one right here and then another one. Perfect. And let's use wire generator and create some cables. So I'm just gonna go with five because this is such a heavy preset. I know it's gonna <laughs> lag a little. And uh, some gravity, why not? Perfect. Thing of beauty. So let's go even larger. And now, moment of truth. Let's press J, let's press two for the array presets. And a quick tip, you can make these a little bit larger to make things uh, to make scrolling through the presets a little bit easier on the add-on, because otherwise there's some really heavy ones, like this chain, that if you, you have the scale really small, it'll just take a bit to appear. So you can make things larger while you're scrolling. And where 
Where is it? Did I skip it? Did I not save the scene? Well, what? Oh, this is very important. I'm glad this happened. I didn't put it in any collections, so Curve Battery doesn't see this. So it needs to be, let's go in the uh, default array types, and let's name it Heavy AF. Good, save again. Whew. Okay, so now you can troubleshoot. So if that ever happens to you, now you know how to fix it. <laughs> oh no, my cable, I didn't save the scene. Oh, oh whatever. Let's go super fast. Ah. Okay, good enough. Perfect. Let's try again. Make larger. Oh, it chugged a little, so that's our heavy preset. There it is. Oh my god, look at how slow it is. And I have a pretty decent CPU. So let's just press X so it fits perfectly within the curves. So this is rotated the wrong way. <laughs> That's fine. Let's rotate ourselves. So J, R. Oh, I really need to implement snapping. Oh, got it. First try. Oh, that looks, that looks kind of cool. That looks cooler than I was hoping it would. So yeah, that's the idea behind this video. Like you can just find something online and paste it into the preset folder. That wasn't too hard to do and uh, make something cool.